During the last decade, less than a handful of new biomarkers has entered the clinical diagnostic routine. Uh, the main known are BNP, troponin, and of course, thermofficious procalcitonin in the field of infection and sepsis. However, many diseases remain undiagnosed and they lack tools for better diagnosis and follow-up of patients. The technological tools have dramatically in improved in the past 10 years with the development of uh, next generation sequencing, transcriptome technologies and mass spectrometry. But this is still in the research facilities and did not really reach the clinical laboratory. The reasons are multiple, lack of translational efforts, lack of focus of big uh, industries in, the, in this field and lack of development resource of startup companies. Thermo Fisher aims to develop new biomarkers for unmet medical needs. Our goal is to combine our technical excellence in the field of mass spectrometry with our experience of innovative biomarkers development, to introduce them in new routine diagnosis. Three of Thermo Fisher research sites are now focused on these goals in US, Germany and France. In Cambridge, BRIMS apply the best of mass spec technology, software, workflows to identify new relevant proteins directly in the serum of patients touched by severe disease. Our team made amazing breakthroughs in the recent years that allow us to directly pick out biomarker candidates and evaluate their concentration in normal or in pathological samples. In the next dolphin name, our teams develop new assays for these biomarkers in laboratory or point of care technology in order to make them available as reliable techniques for the routine use. When these essays are ready, our clinical study group conducts with clinicians, specialists of a pathology, studies all around the world. We have a unique know-how to develop innovation in diagnostics from the discovery to the routine laboratory. Mass spectrometry will not remain only a discovery tool. Today the market is there for the measurement of small molecules where it is a method of choice and where Thermo Fisher is a reference actor. This is already a reality with vitamins, hormones, drugs, amino acids. In the near future, we will enter the world of human proteome and its pathological modifications. Mass spectrometry measurement of panels of biomarkers will help entering personalized medicine to select the best treatment for each patient. We want our markers to be available for the largest number of patients. Our business model is to drive market penetration using our own laboratory and point of care platforms, but also to give broadly licenses for the use of our patent protected molecules to the major diagnostics company in order to allow each hospital to use it and each patient to get benefit. In the past years, thermoscientific biomarkers focus on developing biomarkers for the emergency room. The mid-regional fragments of proadrenomeduline has been developed for risk assessment of patients with lower respiratory tract infections. The copeptin as a surrogate marker of vasopressin, the hormone responsible of water balance in the body. Today, we keep focus on new biomarkers to the emergency room, adding new indications like stroke or atrial fibrillation in our discovery program. Our group is also developing new research activities in some key prenatal disease such as preeclampsia. But many more will come and we will enlarge our activities to collaborate with external institutional teams to push their innovations to the user. We want to make our experience available for them. Transfer, transfer of these biomarkers in the routine is a long way, but there is a strong expectation from clinicians for new diagnostic tools. Thermo Fisher scientific products are distributed worldwide. Not all intended uses and applications mentioned in this video are registered in every country.